Hello everybody, so in this video we are going to show you how to download and use fabric for Minecraft 1.21.3 Take it away! Yeah, so first off you're going to want to click on your preferred browser of choice I use Chromium And we're going to want to type in fabric Minecraft Now from here you will want to click on the first link which will take you to the fabric loader you click on this big blue download button it's impossible to miss then you click on the second big blue unmissable download button and you will now have the universal exe file so now that you have this this is just fabric this isn't anything so you know, we are going to download sodium on top of this we just click on the mod run flank so we go to this so we click on agree we go to versions and then you'll see the second one in the list has fabric this is the one you want so you just click on this download button now while that is verifying we're also gonna download iris shaders We will click on the mod run flink. We'll click on versions. And we'll click on the fabric version. Download. Now we wait for both of these to verify. Sodium is already verified. This one is still verifying. Okay, so now that everything has been verified and everything has been installed, we are free to close our browser. We won't need our browser for a little while. So now, we click the file explorer and go to downloads. Here you will see the free files you downloaded. So step one, once you're, once you're here, is to click on fabricinstaller.exe. It's gonna open up this menu by default if you're if you want the newest version everything is already gonna be set up for you so you just click install there you go now what you want to do is go into minecraft go into the minecraft launcher so now that you're here you click on installations and you'll see the fabric loader installation now you want to go over here to this folder icon and you want to click that icon and it will take you to dot minecraft so here you will see there is a new folder mods and you want to click on this folder now you want to click on downloads you want to take these two mods and you want to copy them now if you use this back arrow it will take you right back to the mods folder now we're in the mods folder and if you just paste now both of your mods are in the mod folder so now you've done enough to just be able to go to the play section and press play on the game we're also going to close File Explorer to make this cleaner. Okay, so now that you're in Minecraft, now that you're in the game, you will see Minecraft 1.21.3 slash fabric modded. So you now have Fabric, Sodium, and Iris. So now you want to go over to Shader Packs just to showcase that stuff is working. And you open up the Shader Pack folder. This is where you'll want to put your Shader Packs. You can also get here by using the .minecraft method shown earlier. Now we're going to open up our browser again. And we're just going to type in Miniature shader 
we're going to be using the modern version once again. We're going to click on versions. And we're going to click on download. Now that it's downloaded, very simple. We close our browser again. We click on downloads. And here we have our miniature shader zip that we just copy. We use the back arrow again, and we paste it in. Now you can close your file explorer again, and just go into Minecraft. And here you'll have miniature shader dot zip. You click apply, and now everything is working. Now we're gonna go into a new world or just a single player world. And now you can see, I have a shadow. This specific shader requires sodium and iris to work. And as it's working, that means both of the mods are also working. As you can see, we have iris version 1.8.0 on the side, and we have the sodium renderer 0 0.6.0 .0 on the side as well. So, yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more daily Minecraft tutorials, and yeah, bye!